With electric vehicles becoming more and more common on today's roads and the development of electric aircraft, a common question is asked, how can we increase the range through more energy dense batteries? Though what often gets neglected is the motors that drive these vehicles. If we can make the motors more efficient or create more thrust with the same amount of energy, we could achieve the same goals as making more energy dense batteries. Since the popularization of the electric motor, the most common type in things from drones to electric cars is called the radial motor. It is called this because the electromagnets create a magnetic field that radiates outwards. These motors have the benefit of being easy to construct and using fewer rare earth metals than the other type of motor called axial motors. These motors are called such because the magnetic field from their electromagnets is parallel to the axis of the motor. As mentioned, these motors use more rare earth metals than radial motors and are also more difficult to construct as it requires a very small gap between the stator and rotor of about one millimeter. These disadvantages are the main reason that these motors aren't currently mass produced. But the payoff of creating axial motors is quite large. The most notable benefits are the increased efficiency of about 96% compared to only 85% for radial motors. This is largely because of how the wire is wound around the stator, which results in a more effective energy transfer for axial motors. Another big benefit is the 30 to 40% increase in torque when compared to radial motors. This is because the design of axial motors, which has the rotor extended to the edge of the motor, meaning the rotor has much larger radius. Since torque is applied perpendicular force times the radius, the larger the force or radius, the more torque. Because the rotor on an axial motor can be three to four times longer than radial motors, much more torque can be created. This in turn leads to higher power densities. A typical electric motor in a Tesla creates about 8.4 kilowatts per kilogram, whereas current axial motors can create about 25 kilowatts per kilogram. When coupled with the 11% increase in efficiency, it begins to look like a good option for electric planes. This could also lead to the development of larger electric planes, which as of right now are confined to be fairly small. Axial motors do have some manufacturing disadvantages, but if we are able to overcome those issues, we could see axial motors become common, most notably in electric aircraft where their high torque applications would be especially useful. Perhaps the development of a sustainable and mass-producible axial motor could mean a paradigm shift towards VTOLs and electric planes. But until then, if you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing, and I will see you all soon with a brand new video.